What's up, manifestors? Welcome to my meditation space where we are about to make a money jar. Here is my ingredients that I'm going to use, most of them anyway. I've got my new moon meditation music playing. Um, let's see, where do I start? I've got my honey, of course, because you need honey for that. Cinnamon, bay leaf, typical witchy stuff. Um, some essential oils that I'm going to use. I've got tea tree oil. This is going to be the base olive oil. I've got my sage spray to um, smudge my tools. I'm going to use sage spray and actual um, Palo Santo to smudge everything. Um, jojoba oil. I got some coconut oil. Um, let's see, my puzzle, more peppermint, lavender. This is the last money jar that I made, but this one stays on my altar. I'm making a smaller one that can pop in my purse. Let's see what else. Oh, I got some herbs in that bag. I'm going to be putting some of, let's see, probably some happiness in there. I'll put some of that in there and definitely some moon water is going in there. So I made this on the last full moon. So some moon water will definitely be going in there. So um, I'm just going to prop this up and get going. I almost forgot one of the most important tools, money as well as my rose petals because every spell I do comes from a place of love. So I've washed my hands before doing any type of spell. I also used my floral water to uh, cleanse myself before any ritual. I'm going to be using the Palo Santo smoke to clean my, cleanse my tools. Palo Santo is different from sage as it um, only gets rid of negative energy where sage will get rid of all of the energies. I'm also going to get rid of this um, price tag because you don't want it to act as like a sigil and you only get 49 cents out of this spell <laughs> because it does say 49 cents on it. So I'm going to take it off just so it doesn't... Um, affect my ritual or my spell. It's a pretty cheap jar, but um, it's going to hold everything in. Mason jars are wonderful. The smudge spray, I believe I got off of eBay, but it works perfectly in my little meditation space. You can see it's a small closet that I sit in, and I don't like to use a lot of smoke in there. So I just use the smudge spray to kind of cleanse things. This is my green jade elephant, and I'm putting it in my jar to represent uh, matriarchy is my goal. I want to be a female leader of a pack of powerful female women, so that's going in. As well as the jade represents money and health and vitality and prosperity. More Palo Santo to make sure everything is smudged. Here are the herbs that I'm going to be using. I'm using dried sage, thyme, and rosemary. The sage is for cleansing and protection, and the rosemary and thyme are to bring love and prosperity. And I'm just going to make sure that my fingers and hands get all over everything. And I'm just kind of using my hands to kind of pulverize everything, break the sticks down. I want it to be broken down as much as possible. But while I'm doing this, I'm saying my money affirmations. And I'm just making sure that um, I'm keeping my mind on my money goals as I'm breaking down these um, herbs. And I'm making sure all of my DNA and essence gets all over the herbs as well. So I'm really putting myself, my thoughts, and my intentions into this part right now.
Now I make sure that any twisting I do is clockwise because I want that draws in. Counterclockwise draws the spell out. And here are my rose petals because every single spell I do comes from a place of love. And I want the money that's brought to me to come from a place of love and to not harm anybody while it's on its way to me. I don't want somebody to lose a thousand dollars and I pick it up. I want all of my money and prosperity to come from a place of love and joy. And that's why I add the rose petals. And I just picked out four. You'll understand that four is a number that I use when putting things in and because it uh, represents structure and stability and my goal is financial security and stability so i put four rosebuds in there and you'll notice i'll use the number four throughout this ritual and spell but as you see as i break it down and i pulverize everything even when i use the the pestle um, i grind in a clockwise way and then when i'm pushing the herbs back into the bowl I'm pushing it towards me and not away from me so when I use my finger for anything that's falling out I make sure I'm pushing it back towards me because I want the spell to come towards me and not away from me so right here as I'm grinding away I'm also doing my affirmations I'm saying things like money 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 come to me uh, come to me three by three just different um affirmations that I use when I'm doing my money spells I might link below the actual affirmation that I use. But everything is pulverized and it smells so good. It's raising my vibration already. <laughs> and when I put it in there, I make sure that when I sprinkle it in, I'm sprinkling in a clockwise direction. And I say things like money, money, money come to me in an abundance three times three. May I be enriched in the best of ways, harming none on its way. This I accept, so mote it be, bring me money, three times three. All right, so I have the herbs and the essence all over my hands, and now I'm just going to rub the dollar bill with the herb mix that's on my fingertips and just making sure I get my essence and energy all over the bill. I'm doing that with the coins. I have a coin of each. I have a nickel, a dime, a quarter, and a penny, and I'm rubbing them in the palm of my hand in, in a clockwise direction. Now I breathe on it and set my intentions. I say things like money comes to me in from all over the world. I breathe on it and say things like money loves to be in my bank account. And that's just getting my essence and just making sure that everything is all together when putting the coins in. And I'm just whispering to the coin and breathing on it before I put it in. And with the dollar, I just use my manifestation pin. I have green aventurine uh, stones in the pin that I charge in the moonlight, full moon, most of the time. I sign it with my name, and then I write my affirmations, what I'm trying to get. I'm not going to share that exactly because you're going to write whatever you want on your dollar. I would not advise um, taking anybody's ritual and spell and doing it exactly the way they do it because then it wouldn't be a craft and it wouldn't be a practice and it wouldn't, I don't think it would work honestly. But again, I'm just getting my DNA and my essence and energy all over the bill. I've written on the bill my affirmations. I turn it clockwise, pull it towards me while I'm saying my affirmation fold it clockwise again that means i'm drawing this spell in towards me fold it towards me again and i do that until it's small and during this time i'm also saying my my affirmations i am abundance i am rich i am wealthy the word i am is the most powerful affirmation you can say and i'm just saying that as i'm getting the bill down I also whisper to the bill and get my breath on it and then I put it in my palm and pray on it. I'm also not going to share the exact thing that I pray with so you guys can do that all on your own. Please trust yourself.
take your time here like I'm taking my time. All right, so I put the money in with my green jade elephant. Again, matriarchy is the goal. I want to be, um, I want to, my money to come from a place of power. An elephant is my spirit animal, so my elephant spirit animal guide is going to help me along with this ritual and spell as well. Here's the bay leaf. You can't have a spell without a bay leaf. I'm just going to pick a tiny one that I think will fit in there. And I'm going to use my manifestation pin again. You can make your own manifestation pin. Just get some stones that resonate with you and plop them in and just make sure they're sitting out in the uh, moonlight when, the, when it's a full moon. And again, I write another I am statement on my bay leaf. Again, make sure you're taking a deep breath and you're you're in a place of relaxation when you're writing the things that down and not in a place of stress. And here is the honey. I just plopped the rest of what was in my jar here. Honey sweetens things towards you in a spell, so it's going to make money sweet on me. It also makes the money stick to you. It doesn't, you can use as much honey or as less honey as you want. I had just enough in there to work for my little jar. Next up is cinnamon. Cinnamon makes the money fast acting comes to me quickly. A quick, steady flow is what the cinnamon does. It also adds the essence of love to it. Because again, I want the money to come from a place of love. That's just my own personal preference, though. I dumped a little extra cinnamon there. I'm a little heavy-handed on the cinnamon. <laughs> I want it fast, fast money. Okay, this is um, lavender that I'm using. Not only just for the smell, but again, um, I don't want anybody harmed while I'm getting money. So the lavender acts as a loving protection. And that number four, I only put four drops of the essential oils. So I put four drops of lavender in there. And again, four uh, in numerology means structure and stability and security. And I want financial stability and security. I'm putting mint in there, four drops of peppermint, I would highly advise using one of these squirters so you're not getting things all, uh, oils all over your altar space or wherever you're going to make this, tea tree oil, And the peppermint in the tea tree is just leafy greens. Um, it adds the greens for a money, wealth, and vitality and health. The jojoba oil is my secret ingredient, and I'm not telling you why I'm putting that in there. <laughs> but it's going in. I have my own personal intentions why the jojoba is going in, and it's getting four drops. And here's my happiness.
Right now we have the coconut oil. It is also another secret ingredient, and I'm not telling you why that's going in. <laughs> you can use it if you want to, but if you don't have an intention set behind it, you're just throwing ingredients in for no reason, and it could mess up your spell. So my coconut oil and my jojoba oil are going in for specific intentions for myself, for my own reasons, and that's crafting. So... Figure out different oils and different essences that you want to put into your money jar. This is just a little oil mix that I made a while back for a previous spell. It has spices and such in it. And it's also getting four, four drops of that. I think I'm just looking around, making sure I got everything. Oh, extra virgin olive oil. It um, it acts as a um, a flowy mechanism. Uh, it's a thicker flow, which uh, it kind of puts a little bit of time on it. So I want my I want my money flow to be consistent. I want it. I don't want it to be an overwhelming flush of money. So the um, olive oil helps us that. And here's the moon water I made on the last full moon. And it, it was made uh, specific intentions for love and uh, self-healing and self-care. So it has all the love and joy stones in there, uh, rose quartz mainly. And I'm using my turkey baster so that I don't waste a drop of my moon water. It worked perfectly. I didn't waste any. Now the pink Himalayan sea salt, it adds an extra layer of protection for not only myself, but the people that the money's coming from. Again, love, love, love. I don't want anybody hurt, myself included, while this money is coming for me. And um, again, I do it in a clockwise motion so that the money is drawn to me, that the love is drawn to me and I put four pinches of the Himalayan sea salt. The salt um, is for protection and healing and the pink is for the love. Okay, now I'm just going to hold it into my palms and pray on it more, say my affirmations aloud more, uh, breathe into it more just so my essence and energy and DNA is in there. 
and I do that for a few minutes. Um, I take my time, I make sure that uh, the meditation music is playing, that um, it's lifting my vibration, and that I'm not um, breathing on it from a place of desperation, that I'm calm and relaxed. Then the lid goes on forever and ever. It never comes off. These, I just is just an extra added thing again, like I said, um, as I'm putting it on, I'm circling in a clockwise, cause, and I'm saying, you know, uh, three by three, 10 by 10, money, 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 come to me. Just different affirmations like that. Harming none on its way as I'm sticking the stickers on. It'll put my intentions onto the jar. And then there you have it. Watch them grow, perceive devote. This is the seed, light the show. Watch them grow.